This is North Dakota Today. Well, good morning. Welcome back. It's North Dakota Today. Anna Johnson, Jordan Schreer. We are back, and you yep. know what else is back? A blizzard. Yep. That's back again. Really couldn't even go a week Guess without it. Guess who's back, back, back. Back again. Yeah, there you're yes, picking it up. M&M okay. Reference. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I should have been singing to Lisa Green all morning as she was talking <laughs> about this first alert weather day. <laughs> Is it just me, or should I make a bet like every Friday is just going to be a nasty weather day? Because that's kind of how it seems. Yeah, I think we should plan ahead, stock up on bagels, first of all, <laughs> which we did today. And then, of course, you know, be ready for all the crazy stuff that weather brings. It sure does. Yeah. That's our uh, South Fargo Skycam, the Luther Family Ford Skycam here this morning. You see it kind of moving. Your screen looks like it's moving at home. That's because it's windy out there. I think Lisa was saying there's some spots that had a 60-plus uh, record of uh, or recorded, I should say, wind gust this morning. Which so, probably to anywhere else in the country seems impossible, but you know what? Around here, we're like, welcome to the prairie. We're in the All valley. Right, let's go. <laughs> and that is uh, just your uh, radar right there getting moved yeah. around here a bit this morning. So you're kind of yeah. seeing everything that is uh, going on with the system that's moving through. So good just, news, it's going to get worse. So, well, yeah. <laughs> We are still very much in the thick of it, I think yeah. you could say. So just uh, make sure that uh, you're tuning in here. Mm -hmm. Lisa is going to do live weather updates for you throughout the entire morning and then again at noon. And yep. as we head on into the day, I know a lot of kids, some kids are maybe watching us today. Probably a lot. Or maybe actually, some moms yeah. and dads watching us today wishing they weren't watching us with the kids today. I feel that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I feel like there hasn't been a full week of school for like three months. No. There really isn't. I'm so thankful my husband's at home today because he has the kids and I don't have to miss out all of this, you know, because super fun times here in North Dakota today. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of families home today. They're sure e-learning days, everything that's mm -hmm. going on with those. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to say yesterday, Lisa was warning people, bring home those computers, mm -hmm. bring home the backpacks. You she might not be it. going back to school. So yeah. A lot on, I know, I think every metro school is uh, canceled or oh, yeah. e-learning, one or the other, this morning. Yeah. So, so for the kids today, we're going to have a lot of uh, informational, educational stuff. Yeah. And for the parents, we're going to have this next story, <laughs> which is that uh, if you are a parent, especially probably after today, you can relate to this. There's a group of moms that formed in Virginia. Their goal is to get together monthly to stand outside and scream. They're just going to scream. They scream for different reasons. Yep. They do. The movement started in Boston. It's apparently been spreading across the country now. Yeah. Uh, and I guess this is a little bit of some, yeah. some screen this video. This is their group in Roanoke. Uh, we were talking about forming a chapter here in Fargo. I feel like a lot of us could use a good scream from time to time. I so. feel like with the wind, you wouldn't even hear it. No, that's true. You would just like carry it away. You could just go outside in the parking lot of work and scream, and people would be <laughs> like, was it gusty again today? And you'd be like, yep, that's what it was. So there you go, moms and dads. If you need to get outside today for a second, your kids are driving you nuts, just get out there and scream. Oh my gosh. People are doing it across the country. It's not weird. There's a hashtag, <laughs> hashtag mom scream. It is a hashtag mom scream, which I actually think is a really funny hashtag. <laughs> yeah. But it's great because I saw this story and I was like, oh my gosh, this is my life. Like, I can relate to this. I need to go outside right now and Well, scream. I think my mother growing up just yelled at us instead oh, of going okay. outside and screaming. I feel like that, yeah. that's maybe what happened anyway. This is a constructive way to let out your frustrations. <laughs> constructive way to do it. So yeah, I couldn't imagine if I, yes, I, I yeah. see why there would be a need for a scream every now and again. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you stories. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every mom out there is like, boy, do I know, do I know about yeah. that? Uh, yeah. But besides uh, going out and screaming today, which if you want to, go for it. Yeah. Let out some of that We have a energy. break coming up in about five minutes. Do it then. Yeah, right. There's a, a bunch <laughs> of things that are going on today as well. Mm -hmm. My favorite national holiday that we have today, though, drink wine day. I think after the snowstorm, we're all going to need to be doing that. So I, Someone brought that up this morning, and I said, mm, you know what? I actually don't have wine at home. I'm stopping at the liquor store on my way. So I hope they are open mm, Probably in this with half the still. valley today, yeah. Yeah, so I got to pick some up. What do you like to drink? Do you like to drink wine? Oh, I do like wine. I like rosé. 
Oh, rosés. I good. used to do the Rieslings and the Moscatos. It got too sweet. Yeah. I've kind of leaned back and I'm doing rosés now. Okay. No, mm -hmm. I, I, same. I used to really be yeah. big on the Moscatos and then I kind of found that a bit too sweet. I'm kind of a Pinot Grigio kind of a person oh, now. Oh, it's a little drier. Yeah. Okay. And then a Dupendi and a Chardonnay too. Mm, it's so, gotta be fancy. I, I know. I really like those. I'm not a huge fan of red wine, uh, but I always say if someone puts a glass of something in front of me, I, I never say no. No, agreed. So. <laughs> Especially on days like today. I'll never say no if you put it in front of me. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, in other like weird national mm -hmm. news today, today is Thumb Appreciation Day. Thumbs up to that. Thumbs. Uh, <laughs> -bum -bum there it is. Yes. It's also, if you're trying to come up with a dinner idea, Crab Stuffed Flounder Day. So uh, we don't have that on the show. Sure. We do have food later on. We do have food. Which already smells incredible oh my in the gosh. studio, but I it's not crab stuff. I am longer. so excited about that. Yeah. We, I'm just going to kind of give it away a little bit. Sicky's Garage is yes. uh, coming in. Oh, I cannot uh, wait. I smell it already. I know you at mm, home camp. We I'm see dying. him getting set up, and that smells and looks delightful. So we're very excited about that, but we have a lot of other uh, yep. really interesting things on today's show as well. We do. We actually have um, how you can help your teens develop healthy relationships. It's it's very easy these days with social media and everything mm -hmm. to meet people. So healthy relationships as they jump into the dating pool. But first, we want to check out your local steals and deals.